What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've wanted to do this one for a while now, but I'm going to do my top 10 movies of the decade. So from 2010 to 2020. Now, this isn't what everybody would think is their top 10 movies. This is my preference. This is what I believe were the best movies that I saw in the past 10 years. So, starting off, I all these movies are in my collection, so not one of the movies is missing, which is good. Um, so, starting off with this one. Logan. Now, for those that haven't seen Logan, Logan obviously played by Hugh Jackman um, in the X-Men movies. So, back in, I think, 2000, 2001, when the first X-Men movie came out. This is in my top 10 because this movie was the last time we saw Hugh Jackman play Wolverine. It was an end, it was an end to an era for the movies. So, you saw what happened, how he started off as Wolverine, and then you saw, obviously, how it all came to an end, like, a passing, to the tor passing on the torch situation in this movie. So this movie is a must for every um, comic book, every Marvel uh, fan out there. If you love the X-Men films and the Avenger movies, even the Deadpool R-rated type of stuff, you will like this. If you haven't seen it, I highly suggest that, you know, you watch it. The next movie, not a lot of people enjoy them. I enjoyed them a lot, especially this one. I thought this one was good. The action in it is awesome. So the next one on the list is Transformers Dark of the Moon. Now, Transformers Dark of the Moon came out in 2011, I believe. Um, directed by Michael Bay, so you do have all your explosions and everything that people criticize Michael Bay about. Um, at the time, it was the last Transformers film, so they went all out with the action. Um, but then again, they ended up doing two more films. But um, this one is my favorite out of the Transformers movies, just because you finally get to see, you know, other Decepticons. So you finally get to see a proper sound wave. You see, you see Shockwave. Um, but then again, you do see more Autobots, which is pretty cool. But all in all. This movie, I did enjoy it, especially the action, like I've said before. The action is amazing, and it looks amazing in 4K. Um, very much detailed, so yeah, that one is in the top 10. Alright guys, the next one on my list is Halloween. Now, Halloween is one of my favourite horror movies. So, the original one by John Carpenter in 1977 or 79, I'm not 100% sure. Um, that's one of my favorite horror movies, so when they remade it or made a sequel, with however you want to say it, it's pretty much Halloween 2, um, but that was a very good, very good movie. Um, the sequel to it's actually coming out this year, so I'm very, very keen on that. Um, I believe this takes place, um, when does this one take place? So... This takes place four decades after the original one that came out in 1978. So, Michael escapes again, <laughs> and he ends up making his way to Haddonfield and just does what Michael Myers does. Very good movie, also looks amazing in 4K. If you haven't seen it and you're a horror fan, this is a must for you, especially if you want to watch the sequel coming out later this year, then you need to watch this movie. Next one on my list is The Joker. This movie, when I first watched it, had me feeling so much different emotions. Like, you felt bad for the guy, but then again, you wanted him to do what he was doing in the film because of the way he was treated. And it just made you feel different things. And obviously, it is a very, very dark movie. It is a great movie. Um, they did a good job with this one. The director, Todd Phillips, he did a very, very good job with this one. And again, 
Joaquin Phoenix, he won an Academy. He's won all the awards this year for this film. So if it is a very different take on the character of the Joker from the DC universe from Batman's main villain. So this is a movie to watch, even if you're not a comic book fan or, you know, into Batman or anything like that. It's just very good to watch. A very different movie, so uh, that's definitely in the top 10. Next on my list is Ready Player One. Now, this movie is directed by Steven Spielberg. A lot of Easter eggs in this one, so basically what happens is you're an avatar in a video game world and there are Easter eggs out there from Akira's bike, there's, I'm pretty sure, Master Chief at one point, um, even the characters from Overwatch, even Batman, um, the Iron Giant makes, even the Gundams make an appearance, so even Godzilla at one point. So this movie is very fun, very good, family friendly. If you're into video games and science fiction, then this movie is a very good movie to watch. Um, I enjoy that movie a lot, so again, even in 4K, it looks amazing, and Steven Spielberg did another good job with that one, so very, very happy that they made this film, because it was something that I wasn't expecting. I just went in to the movies and watched it, and I came out, and I was like, oh, holy crap, that movie was awesome, so that's definitely in the top 10. All right, so the next one on the list is Jurassic World. Now, the reason Jurassic World is in my list is because it brought back Jurassic Park. So, I grew up, obviously I was born in 1991, so I grew up watching the Jurassic Park films. So, when they remade it, uh, remade it, but made it as a sequel, it was, it was awesome to actually go to the cinema and watch this movie. So, it's directed by um, Colin Trevorrow, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, he did a good job bringing back, you know, Jurassic Park pretty much to the big screen. Um, obviously Steven Spielberg's one is a classic, so that's why this one is in the top 10. Now the next one on my list, this won six Academy Awards in 2016. So this movie is probably one of the best action movies I've ever seen, visually as well, and that is Mad Max Fury Road. Now the sequel, again, or prequel, sequel, however you want to call it, oh, well, not prequel, sorry, the remake or sequel, um, this is awesome. Now I believe the only green screen you see in this movie is when the massive storm is coming for them and then everything else is actually filmed in the desert. So Tom Hardy, Charles Theron, they did an amazing job. Apparently they hated each other on set because they were with each other for so many days. Um, best one of the best action movies I've ever seen. Um, if you haven't seen it, you need to watch it. It is an awesome, awesome non-stop action movie. There's a reason it won six Academy Awards, so definitely a must. All right, so the next one on my list is Inception. Now, Inception is one of the most Unique, mind-blowing movies you will ever watch. Uh, directed by Christopher Nolan, he did an amazing job with this movie. Um, starring Leonardo DiCaprio, so everybody's gonna wanna watch it. Leo is a great, great actor, so this movie is ahead of its time. I mean, going into someone's dream while they sleep, going into another dream, into another dream, it's not been done before, so I think the closest thing to something like this was The Matrix, but even then, to me, this is a better film and winner of four Academy Awards. So this movie, Christopher Nolan did an amazing job with it. If you haven't seen Inception, you definitely need to watch Inception. It is a great film, great cast on that as well. So definitely, definitely need to watch that movie. Next one on my list, I look at it as one whole movie, even though it's two separate films, but I look at it as one movie in total. Now that movie is, well not that movie, those, those movies are Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. Now the reason I have these movies in here is because it's one massive story, even though they're individual films, 
it's to me it's part one and part two so that's why this is in here now the avengers films infinity war and endgame when i watched them in the cinema especially infinity war i was absolutely blown away simply because spoiler alert if you haven't seen it the bad guy wins so and that was the first time in any movie where that had happened and what's so good about avengers endgame is the heroes trying to get back at the villain thanos for what happened um to me when endgame ended marvel ended because it had been 10 years since iron man won to you know avengers endgame so that you know it had a lot of a lot of people were crying in the cinema because of what happens obviously i wasn't crying um, but, you know, a lot of people were hurt and, you know, upset and sad of what had happened. But these two movies, these two Avenger films are absolutely amazing. Um, definitely, definitely a must to watch. If you haven't watched them, you need to watch them. They are fantastic. Josh Brolin does an amazing job. Uh, the Russo brothers, they directed the films. They did an amazing job directing them. So definitely need to watch these movies they are they are awesome they really are awesome all right now on to the final one now this isn't in any any particular order as in this one's my favorite or whatever this is just the top 10 that i did and it just so happens this is the last one i've left um just because it was on the pile of all the dvds <laughs> um now the anticipation for this movie had me for months and months and months even probably a year leading up to this movie i was i was more excited for this movie than probably anything that had come out and at the time and that movie has one of the best opening sequences i've seen in a very very long time and that movie is the dark knight rises another christopher nolan film now, this is the third in the trilogy. So you've got Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and then you have The Dark Knight Rises. So this, so The Dark Knight Rises takes place eight years after the events of The Dark Knight. So Batman's a bit of an older, you know, frail Batman, but he has to come out of retirement in a way because of the new threat, which is Bane, played by Tom Hardy. Now... This came out the same year as The Avengers, but The Avengers did more in the box office. But to me, this was a better old film. This movie is absolutely amazing. Great action. In my opinion, it's a good story. Some people might not think so, but I think it's a good story. Um, this is what brought these movies, the Dark Knight trilogy, but this, this movie is what made, made me more of a fan of, you know, like Batman and stuff, so. That's why this is in here. And again, Christian Bale, Tom Hardy, they do an amazing job in these films. Even, um, is it Michael Caine, the old man that plays um, Alfred, he does an amazing job. So again, Christopher Nolan smashed, absolutely smashed this trilogy out of the ballpark. And that is why this movie is in there as, you know, in my top 10 for the decade. All right, so there you have it, guys. That's my take on the top, my top 10 movies of the decade. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, follow me on Instagram at Wazza Johnson. Um, and yeah, guys, thanks for watching.